Yo guys, Jonathan here, and today is gonna be a fun day. LG reached out and wanted to sponsor an extreme water test, and I was like, wait, you want me to try and destroy your phone with water? They said yes, so I was like, I am in, and now we're about to put the LG G6 through its paces. So what we're gonna do is incrementally climb the ladder of extreme, so to speak. We're gonna start out somewhat small with a simple one hour and water test, once that hopefully passes that, we can then move on. But as a disclaimer, do not do what I do. Just because this phone can withstand the water doesn't mean you should replicate the dumb things I'm about to do. Drop a like if you appreciate that though, because the last thing I wanna do is see you void your warranty. And with that out of the way, let's drop this guy in water. So the hours passed and actually taking a look at the phone, we got a little more than that. We're currently sitting in about an hour and 13 minutes. Everything looks good so far. But I'm gonna pull it out just to make sure. Shake it off a little bit. So I'm gonna hop out of the timer and everything looks good so far. I do wanna make sure that these speakers are still intact. So uh, let's go ahead and actually test out the screen with some audio playing. So it definitely passed that test, which really wasn't too much of a shocker, but what it does mean is that we're ready for round two. Part of the next test, we are taking the G6 Hiking, might get a little wet. Oh man, we'll be fine. This is just the beginning, buddy. You see it? Is it gonna be worse than that? Yes, you're gonna, your feet are gonna get wet. So we're about 15 minutes in right now, and man, hiking is pretty good cardio, but we're racing the light right now, hoping to find the waterfall before it gets dark. So we shall see. So we made it and uh, kind of hoping that maybe we wouldn't make it in time with the sun dropping out, but now this means I got to do it. That was cold, but uh, obviously the phone passed that test. We're on to the final round. So next up, yes, I am standing on top of a washing machine. That is because we're about to toss the G6 inside. I will, of course, make sure we use cold water so we don't shriek that sweet display. But now let's go ahead and soak this baby up. So the cycle is completed. Honestly, we may have gone a little too extreme with this in the sense that there is nothing but the phone. No pillows, no blankets, no padding to protect it. But now it is a moment of truth and we gotta see if it survived. I'm kind of a little bit scared. I heard it rattling and smashing around inside. So pop the door open, grab the phone. Holy crap, the phone is still alive. The screen is on. No dings, no damage, no cracks. The screen is working perfectly. I know it's probably a little hard to see in this blinding, blazing sunlight. So as impressive as the water test, I might be more surprised due to the fact that it actually survived being tossed around like a rag doll inside, but that means we are ready to move on to the next round. So next up, it's time to whip out the heavy artillery, and by no means is an official IP69K test, nor am I an official tester, so please do not do what I do. I'm about to blast this G6 full of water, And look at that. Notifications work, the camera's still recording. I think we should probably bump up the test a little.
So at the end of the day, whether it's an hour underwater, a hike through a waterfall, being tossed at a load of laundry, or blast with pressure and water, the LG G6 held its own and then some. Huge thanks to LG for sending this my way early. Again, this is a pre-production model, so things may change in the final version. Again, don't do what I did, but hopefully you enjoyed it and had some fun. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. This is Jonathan, and I will catch you guys later.